Okay, everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. Today is going to be a very fun day. Um, as you all remember, I put in this cloud ceiling uh, prob probably about a month ago. And since I finished, I've been wanting to redo the walls. As you can see, the walls are still painted as they were from my son several years ago, at least 18 years ago, I think we did this room. Um, so what I wanted to do was cover the walls in something really cool. And I did. I finally found something online on Amazon. They're tapestries. And what I'm going to do is open up the package right now. I've been waiting for these for almost, I think, two and a half months. So let's, uh, let's open that package up and see what the product looks like. So I needed five of these to do this entire room to complete all the walls. And my goal was to make sure that one tapestry would flow into the next one with what I came up with for an idea. And my only worry with these was how large they were. I thought possibly if they needed to make these too big, that it would kind of lose pixelation inside of the uh, product when it was finished. You know, when you enlarge a photo, sometimes the pixels spread out. But I gotta say, by looking at this right here, it does not look that way. It looks like they did a very good job at this. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's five there. Of course, they've taped this really good. Give me just a second. I'll try to do this without cutting the tape uh, tapestry. Hold on a second. There we go. And that tape should peel off all the way around. Okay, so we're going to just open up one right now so I can give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Well, that's got a lot of blue in it. I thought it was just black and blue. Um, each of these, they give you pieces to hang them. I'm not going to be using these. I'm going to be tacking this uh, the whole time I'm putting this on. So let's open up one. Let me angle this down a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Dun, 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 oh, I'm gonna absolutely love this. Okay, so let me turn it around. I want to make sure I'm holding it right. Like I said, these things are huge. Let me back up. So basically, this is what it is. This is one end. And if I come across all the way to the other side, you can see it's electric on the top blue and white and on the bottom let me bring it up you've got this now picture this going all the way around the room because one is going to hopefully blend in with the one next to it and that's not all hold on this is the other idea I came up with was to order some of these lights um, I had to order four of these okay now what these are going to do these are going to travel along with the bolt of uh, electricity that you just saw in that tapestry um, and they they're going to bend because this is actually a wire with lights in it and I can change the colors of this so I'm going to try to make these blend in with the tapestry out so enough of the blabbing I am about to start tacking this up so everybody uh, hang around and I'll show you what this looks like when I finish okay so I'm um, uh about an hour and a half to two hours into the process and just wanted to show you how it was going so far. I started in this area and I'm working my way around in this area. So, so far I absolutely love it and I cannot wait till this is finished. So, um, if you're going to install a tapestry, uh, you always want to start in your top corner, so you can't see what I did here, but I went up underneath it there and I went as close to the ceiling as I could and I put my first tack. And then you're going to come across and put another one about eight inches away and put another tack and pull it fairly tight as you go on. Not too tight, but just, just snug enough. And I kept doing that all the way across until I got to right here. And this is where my piece ended up in here. Now, after you get the top all finished, it's then that I came back over here and I started putting tacks in from this point all the way straight down, all right, to the floor. And I'll show you where my tacks are. You can see how I got them in there. 
okay? So you're doing top all the way across, here all the way down, and then I came over, because my, my wall bends here, I came over into this corner, and I basically just ran my hand like this. And I pulled over here to get it somewhat snug. And as soon as I hit the corner of the wall, I put another tack. And you do that every probably eight inches, like I said before. So after I had this first piece all in, I needed to start my second piece. And I gotta say, I really lucked out. You can see where the line is here in the, in the wall. And what I did is the second piece I put up, it overlaps the first piece by maybe a quarter inch to half inch. And luckily for me, this lined up quite well. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'd say that's the closest I'm gonna probably get it for getting these two uh, tapestries to, to line up the way I wanted. Same on the bottom. Um, that could have lined up a little bit better, but overall, I'm, I'm very happy. So I've got two up so far. As I come across the wall, I gotta come back for it. My phone doesn't uh, doesn't uh, pull out very well here. Um, and then I still have to go all the way around to that corner, and then all the way back to this spot. And I've got just enough to do that. Uh, these wires, as you can see, this is to run my my ceiling lights. Um, I just basically put a slit here, and I cut a hole out right here for the antenna to come through and my wires and I built a little bracket underneath my speaker to hold the uh, power supply for my ceiling lights. Let me come back out here, I seem to lost my picture. There we go. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna curl that wire up and hide it behind the speaker and where it plugs into the floor, I'm gonna bring that up, put it in the corner and I'll probably put black electrical tape around it just so it will blend in better. And same with my outlets, if you've got a when you go over the outlet, all you need to do is cut a slit where the outlet is and you can spread it apart to put your, uh, your cords in the wall. So basically that's all I did right there. Um, so that's it for now. When I come back, I'll show you when the room is completely finished and then I'm gonna install the lights. Now the lights, like I told you before, um, I have two sets so that they can go all the way around the room. One set is going to literally attach right in the middle of all this as you go along, okay? And same with the orange. The other one's gonna come down and stop probably here and follow this trail all the way through and all the way around the room. And I'll make it so that the top light shines in like a whitish blue and down here will be like a fiery red. So I'm really excited to get to that part there. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, so the tapestry is pretty much all hung. So I'll take you around the room. I've, I've turned my uh, phone vertical, but I know you guys hate that, but it does fit more into the picture. But anyway, I'll do it this way. Um, this wall is finished. I'm gonna go all the way around. Over into our corner. I still need to cut the bottoms and staple those onto the uh, mop boards. I still need to hide the white cables and the long cable coming down the wall here. And I'll put my stereo stuff back. But other than that, the uh, it's all finished. I even had a piece left over out there on the floor that got cut off that eventually I'm going to add to this door. So that'll complete this section. And then the only other one I have to do is this door here. And I'm not really sure. I think I'm just going to paint that all black uh, just to make it blend in. But tomorrow, because I'm tired, um, tomorrow I will add the lights, as I said, to the uh, electric bolts. So that should be very cool. Okay, I am finally on to where I add the lights. Uh, I was going to use tax, but I didn't really want the tax to show. So I've tried hot glue. And so far the hot glue is working very, very nicely. Um, right on the opposite side of every light, you can see where I've put a dab of glue. So on the left and right of every one. So you can see a little bit of glue right there and a little bit right there. And it's attaching very, very good. Uh, as you can see, I've got a long ways to go. I gotta go all the way across and then I gotta do the bottom. 
which will be a separate light, which does the orange. And as like I said, these lights, which I'll put everything down in the description, the tapestries, the lights, uh, the cloud ceiling video will be down in the description. Um, so all you're doing right here, this does come with a remote or you can control it um, down here to change the colors. Uh, let's see here. So we've got that's a purple that flickers through the colors if you want it to. It does a lot of cool things. Um, I just want solid colors right now. So there's the green. Blue is the one I'm going to use for the top. Uh, let's see. That's like a fiery red. That's the one I'll probably use for the bottom. So yeah, so far so good. Okay everybody, I'm almost finished. I'm about halfway through this entire project. I get the lights finished completely on this wall. Um, I have them switching right now between colors, as you can see. Get the ceiling lights going here. Right now the ceiling lights are going with the beat of the music. The lights down here do not work with the beat of the music. Let me come over here for a different view. So I still need to go all the way around this side of the room. But either way, what I've got so far, very, very pleased. All right, I would have to say that I am pretty close to being completely done. Uh, just some final touches I still have to do, and the project went awesome. I am so pleased. Um, so let's see. The door, I had material left over, so let me back up here. And I had enough to actually do the door. The only thing the door doesn't have is lights on it, but that's fine. At least it, uh, it makes the entire room blend in again. Um, I also had a small piece left over. I have a register down here on the floor. And I took a piece and I actually, I took this whole thing apart and I glued this on with, uh, it's like a multi-purpose spray glue. I think Gorilla makes it. And for the other pieces, I just basically spray painted them black with a little bit of red and orange in them just to make them blend in. And I gotta say that came out, uh, came out pretty good. Um, same with the door. Uh, when I went and did the door, that's all just basically stapled on. I had enough space around the entire door so it wouldn't actually jam. I'll show you what I did here. You can see where I just basically pulled the material around and I stapled it every probably six or eight inches. And I did that all the way around the door. And then you just cut out a hole for your knob and put everything back together. But other than that, I gotta say I'm very, very, very pleased give you a close-up of these lights. You can actually see where I put the glue on each side. I think it equaled out to about 800 dabs of glue that I needed to put on, so it took me a few hours. Um, but hey, like I said, it was well worth it. Right now the lights are on a fade where they're changing colors as it goes around. But that with a mix of the ceiling, uh, the room is just so fun. So yeah, right now I've just got a light plugged in on the ceiling. I'm eventually gonna put a planet of some type up there, globe, probably the moon or something, I'm not sure, but I do want it to shine bright enough so that I can, you know, have a regular light on when I want to. Uh, the only issue I ran into was over in this area here. I did run out of lights. I didn't have quite enough to finish in that one little spot, but um, no complaints. And as you can see here, this is just a mess until I get the right pieces in. I've, uh, for these four lights, you can see there's one controller here, another one here, and if you come up, there's two more. Now, all four of these run into USB. So as you can see, I've got kind of a mess here with just an extension cord. Eventually that will be gone, and I'll just be putting an adapter on the uh, wall there that holds four USB plugs. And this, of course, each one of these lights came with its, um, its own remote. So, I, ha I literally have four of these. Um, I only need one because this will actually run for each of these. Um, and it turns everything on at the same time, or if I hold it just right, I can turn on each light 
uh, independently when I want to. And as you can see, the remote does several different colors. There's some different options over on the right, fade, jump, um, and different speeds, time, and the colors are just fabulous on these. And same with my ceiling lights, they come with their own remote. Whoops, turn that around. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description for everything that I've done here. Um, and no worries about fires because these are all these lights are LED. And as you know, LEDs run very cool. You can touch them with your hand. There's actually no heat to them at all. Same with the ones in the ceiling up underneath. Those are also LED and they run very cool. Uh, so I think the only thing I really have left to do is, like I said, I want to clean this mess up I got here. I want to hide all the electronics uh, going up the wall. I'll probably put a, a half a piece of PVC black and tuck all the wires in behind it. Like I told you, I'm going to clean up this mess. And last but not least will be this door. I'm either going to order one more uh, tapestry to finish that door or I'm just going to take it down and paint it all black and just add in some, uh, some orange into it just to blend in. And after that, I have to say the room is pretty much complete. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the uh, comment section. And if you really like the video, uh, please you know, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications. Thanks again, everybody.